I hate to use the word game changer, but uh, this is kind of a game changer. I never thought I would be using AI like this. What Adobe have done here in Premiere Pro using AI is completely different from all the generative AI stuff out there. This is super cool. There's also something else equally cool in Adobe Premiere Pro at the moment, which I'll show you in a while. But let's dive into this. And this, this has blown my mind. What we have here are a whole bunch of clips that I've shot over the last 12 months or so. And I've actually, just for the hell of it, put in an entire video while your videos aren't cinematic. There's a whole lot of stuff in that, right? We've all of these clips, and what if you wanted to find something? Well, you'd have to go through and scrub through each one. Maybe you're just looking for a subway train or whatever the case may be. And this is where the AI magic comes in. On the top right of Premiere Pro is something called Media Search. If you press that, every time you import a clip, it analyzes your clip in the background, okay? Here we go, right? I'm gonna bring this over here. Let me go smoke, cause I know there's some barbecue stuff there. Instantly it's finding anything that's got smoke. Let's keep it the barbecue team, Texas flag. These are two clips with a Texas flag in it. These are from my other YouTube channel. If you know, you know. I know in this clip here, there's some Gen AI stuff. I know there's an angry man. Let's go angry man. And it's found this angry guy. It's also kind of, found me, I maybe look angry in this clip. Now, if you double click on the actual clip it's highlighting, it goes to that exact point in the video. And obviously the blur here, the transition is causing a couple of issues with this AI, but either way, you can more or less find anything. There's a clip here of me on the floor. I'm just gonna call man talking into a mic on the floor. So it looks, I'm on a couch there, it looks like I'm on the floor, but there it is. I'm on the floor. It's actually found that. Let's just type in microphone because I'm holding a microphone. As you look at all these clips of me with a mic and double click and there it is. I can see the Brooklyn Bridge there. So I'm just going to type in bridge. Boom. It's found a bridge. It's found the Brooklyn Bridge. This thing just blows my freaking mind. We could be here all day and all night looking at this stuff. You can look at everything that you have. You can look at your source or you can look at your sequence. So this is your sequence down here. I've got nothing of Times Square, but let me just drag this in and see, does it do it on the fly? No, it hasn't. So let's go again and type in Times Square. And now we're on a sequence and it's finding it in your actual freaking timeline. This thing is just nuts. It is super powerful. Now, it looks at everything. It would look at the visuals only. It would look at text. If you've actually transcribed a whole conversation, it will search in there as well. So for example, if we had mentioned Times Square, it would have looked for that in the text as well. If we had metadata and look at the metadata on your files. This thing is, I hate to use the word game changer, but it is a bit of a game changer when you're working with lots of different footage. Because do you know if you're out in a day and you're shooting a vlog, you're shooting a video, and you know, oh, that shot on the bridge or that shot on the mountain, you know there's a shot there, you know roughly where it was or what it was, you can just type it in now. This is one of the problems I have found with this for now. Adobe, are you listening? Let me go back and type in Times Square. It's completely lost everything. It's not finding anything because this is in beta right now. Depending on what you're doing, I just found that if you restart it, and by the way, this obviously is in beta, so it's not perfect. But at the same time, you can see the absolute power of this thing. Let's go back to our search. And I'm just going to go smoke again because that works. See, we're back in back in action. Okay, I'm going to go yellow taxi. <laughs> it's finding the yellow taxi. I know these are hanging ducks. Okay, let me type this in hanging ducks. <laughs> this is just such a freaking godsend. I mean, and then you can just drag your clip in and away it goes. To get this on Premiere Pro Beta, and I have one other thing to show you here, which is Generative Extend, which will also blow your mind. To get this, you need to go to your Creative Cloud app and you need to go to Beta and you will see Premiere Pro Beta, install that. And then 
that's the one that you work off of, not anything else, because you won't get these features elsewhere. I, this thing is just freaking insane. Now, speaking of insane, we've got a clip here, and let's say you're like, ah, oh, I need this for another like five seconds, or I just need an extra little bit for the edit. And this is where the AI comes in and just, this is my first time using it, so it should blow my mind, but maybe it won't. Let's find out. This is a 720p clip because Generative Extend has some limitations, but you get your Generative Extend tool that's down here, and then you get your clip and you drag it out. This is as far as it's gonna go, so there is a limit, but it's giving me an extra two seconds. It's going to do whatever it does, I guess, and it's uploading it to Adobe Firefly, and then it's going to extend this clip. Now, the limitations of it, as I said, you have to have a 720p clip, and the timeline can be no bigger than 1920 by 1080. Not the biggest deal in the world, especially depending on the content that you're making, but I'm sure in time this will be like a, 4K, you know, limit or whatever you can do. You can see it's generating it here. I'm super pumped to see, is this going to be any good? 67%, 80%. Okay, so we can see this part here is the extension. So let's see what it's done. It's, oh my God. Not perfect. But as we can see this entire clip, I'm going forward. The AI is recognizing that and it keeps going forward. That is just absolutely freaking insane. So we can see if we look really closely here, there is a sudden movement. And like that dude's kind of head. It looks okay, man. I mean, look, if you were watching this in a video on your phone, you'd be like, oh yeah, whatever. You wouldn't even think of the difference like the bag does lose maybe some of the texture but eef man this whole thing right i as i said earlier on i'm a big fan of ai love it for chat gpt love the generative capabilities yeah there's probably some ethics questions around how it's generating the images and from artists i get that vibe completely but the fact that you're using this to work on your own clips and find stuff and extend stuff. I think everybody should be trying this out just to see the power of, of what you can do with your own work. Adobe, serious hat tip. Mind blowing if you're a Premiere Pro user. Game, I hate to use the word game changer, but uh, this is kind of a game changer if you've got a lot of footage to work with. Man, it's a freaking game changer. Anyway, if you stuck it out to this part of the video, I've got something that's very, very cool coming, all right? And basically, I spend a lot of time on this YouTube channel kind of helping folks how to talk better to camera and how to get their point across and get their message across. I'm starting, okay, and this is the first time anybody has heard this public, I'm starting a cohort, and there's a link in the description if you're interested in this cohort called the Camera Confidence Cohort. Sign up on the link in the description and then over the next week or two, people will get all the notifications. They'll get basically what's happening, how it's gonna work, how much it's going to cost, and boom, Bob's your uncle. If you're interested, it's for you. Link in the description. Either way though, I'm, I'm going back to uh, extending more clips. Not because I need to, but because I freaking want to. See you in the next vid.